are gonna go to a world that is beyond your imagination. We're playing make-believe in this world of fantasy. It's quite the adventure. We're sailing now! Peter, Hook, Tiger Lily, Smee, all these characters that you know or you think you know and love, get to see where they come from. The Pan is our tribe's bravest warrior. Aside from having all of the elements of Peter Pan, it really is at its heart just a beautiful coming of age story about this little boy. It's magical. Are you brave, Peter? I try to be. It's swashbuckling adventure for pirates, natives, never trees, never birds, never crocs, mermaids. It's full packed with all that. Welcome to Neverland! This is an origin story, so that's where it all begins. It's a prequel to Peter Pan, getting to know where Peter really comes from, and it's nice to finally see how he began his life at Neverland. And action! It's not like he's the Peter as you might have expected, not yet. And yet you feel the beginning of that mischievous, playful Peter Pan. Ready and action! This film is a magical action adventure about a boy who goes in search of his mum, and on that journey, he discovers himself uh, and also his great destiny to save Neverland. This is the story of Peter before he became Peter Pan. Cut. Lovely. Yeah. One more, please. How did Peter Pan learn how to fly? How did he meet Hook? Why are they in Neverland? How does fairy dust work? Fairies are real. It starts with those questions and takes us into a totally new Peter Pan adventure. Peter is an orphan from the land of home for boys. It's bleak. It's not the nicest place to be. Nelson and Billy both got evacuated to Canada. I wouldn't mind going there. Don't be daft. We've got to stay put. For when our mums come fetch us. Exactly. The thing he wants most is to be reunited with his mother because he's never met her. It's your file. My dearest Peter, I promise that you will see me again in this world or another. Or another. We start in London during the Second World War, and one night during an air raid, Peter and his friends are stolen by a bunch of pirates. It was the first time we get to see all the pirates. They came down from the sky and brought us up, and then they fly to Neverland in the pirate ship. He doesn't even know Neverland exists, and bang, he's shut up into this world. Is this? Canada. Kneel! I don't kneel to anyone. Oh, you kneel to him. He's the pirate all pirates fear. The original nightmare. The man they call Bloodbeard. In a long description about the pirate hook in Peter Pan, it mentions that he learned his trade as the bosun from Blackbeard. Here yeah, you join orphans alike from every corner of the globe. You ah. Oh. My laws are so simple you can write them on a pig's ear. In fact, I have. <laughs> Blackbeard has been around for a long time. He loves his life. He loves being a pirate. And he's terrified of losing it. You have an ancient prophecy from when the fairy kingdoms reigned on this island. The prophecy tells of a boy who would lead an uprising against me. A boy who could fly. Whether Hook knows this prophecy or not, in this island where everybody's sort of stranded and held captive, he sees a ticket out. Without me, you're stuck in this cell. Without me, you're stuck in these mines. I think Hook's just greedy. I don't think he wants to be my friend. If I'm gonna trust you, I need to know your name. It's Hook. The name's James Hook. It's Captain Hook before the Hook. Do you know how to work a ship? How hard can it be? Whoa! This has been a lot harder than it looks! Peter and Hook, they both need each other in one way or another. Blackbeard thinks the prophecy is about me, which means my mum is from here, which means the natives might know where she is. Peter needs him for protection. I'm trying to save your life, kid. Why may we find natives? This is just a totally new Tiger Lily. Joe wanted her to feel like she was from another world. Let me handle this. Good fair lady, we come and pee. <laughs> Peter and Hook step into our territory, and so they have to be punished for that. What's going on? You are sworn enemy. You're pirates. Pirates? What are pirates? Hold on! Help! The little one, he wears the pan. 
I've been hearing about him my whole life, and then here he is, and I think I feel somewhat responsible for him. They think you're their messiah, that you're here to liberate them. Are they right? I don't know. I want to see him fulfill his destiny. If Blackbeard is going to destroy everything, I'll stand against him. You can't stay a kid forever, even in Neverland. Now kneel. I will never bow to you. I have played a bad guy before, a couple of times, but I don't think I've ever played one quite this bad. I am not to be disturbed! <laughs> yes, there's something so delicious about it. Not only is he dastardly, not only is he dynamic, but damn, he's having a good time. Where's the boy? Oh, speak. I'll never tell. He's right over there. Hugh really relished playing a larger-than-life character. It was terrifying, but quite funny, too. You assure me all will be well, given the proper time. There is no time! Hugh really was the captain of this team, and his experience and also his work ethic is tremendous. Well, well, well. The princess, I presume. Oh, well, I'm actually just a minor, but... I appreciate the compliment. Garrett is like a swashbuckling, lovable rogue. He's got the glint in his eye. I love the way he throws himself in. Our only way off this island, and now it's in pieces. Satisfied? Well, yes, I'm quite content. What Garrett did just totally surprised me, and I love it when actors go further than I had imagined. Did you miss me? Garrett is a joy to be around. Me, Garrett, and Levi felt like we were a real team. We have to run, now! No! We have to jump! Tiger Lily is played by Rooney Mara. It's been a wonderful adventure with her, and I think she's so wonderful in this. Home's not where you come from, it's where you make it. So help me do that. Rooney has this poise about her. She kind of feels like she's out of a fairy book, really. Rooney's quite regal, and after all, the character of Tiger Lily is a fairy princess and also a warrior. I've got the necklace, isn't that enough? You could have stolen it. But I didn't! Tell her! Kids always had that thing. How long have you known him? Three All my life. Casting Peter was definitely the most important choice. There's something just sort of sparkly about Levi. He just kind of shines. Everything is extraordinary and fun in Levi's world. And then they twist their so, hands in there, and yeah. that's how they go up. Oh, that's so cool. Huh? He really is, Peter, in a way. So smart and so bold and, and willing to take chances, and everybody just falls in love with him. I love working with Levi. He doesn't have any cynicism. Every day is like the first day for him. It's lovely to be around. You know, he's so open emotionally. He puts everything out there. I can hear her. They've been waiting for you, Peter. You never catch him acting. He's just so present, and man, the camera just loves it. I'll never find your mother. Yes, I will. I did really enjoy calling Levi and telling him he had the job. I mean, he just sort of started screaming down the phone. I had to put the phone down. It really hurt, actually. I cried, and then I started laughing. Like, my head was just spinning and spinning. It was... wow. Levi, just drop the blooms slightly for a minute, and don't actually put your face in them. I won't. No, no, I'm not putting my face. Action. You put a wish list together of directors that you think would just not get out of the park. Joe Wright was certainly at the top of our list. He immediately caught the spirit of the movie. The world of Peter Pan is perfect for Joe Wright. He's an intensely visual guy, and he frees a creative imagination of the people around him. He has an incredible imagination. He's the perfect director to bring alive the story of Peter Pan, especially in this way. The way he uses the camera is so inventive so alive. You wanted to see a Neverland that you'd never seen before. Just creating this world where anything was possible. Cut! We built, I believe, the biggest indoor set that's ever been built in the UK. This giant forest set where Tiger Lily's people live. We're going into the Neverwood Forest. The forest that was there was just vast and trees went as far as you could see upwards. Come up here. You climbed up ladders to get to places and stairs to get to places. There was a big trampoline in the middle and the jungle was awesome because there were all these little hidden passageways to get through the trees. The first day I had on set, literally there were four ADs trying to find Joe. He was somewhere in here. This is by far the biggest set I've ever been on. Why would you want to leave a place like this? Where will you go? Somewhere I'm a little higher up on the food chain for starters. <sighs> what was that? Something a little higher up on the food chain. The big creatures in this movie are the Neverbirds. <laughs> I come from a family of puppeteers. My sister designed the Neverbird and it was, it was brilliant. It was unlike anything I'd ever seen before. Their heads are like skulls and then they've got like all these different colors. Never Crocs are a giant. 
They're about 30 feet long. Holy pudding! And they're scared of the light, which is why mermaids are great adversaries, because mermaids have kind of these electric tails that light up. They are actually fiercer, tougher, and more frightening than crocodiles. Now, they treat our characters very nicely because they recognize the good in them. They're just really cool. They should be in everyone's lives. We all need a mermaid. What the heck are those? I don't know, but I think you're gonna rock them. You can say that again. Joe really wanted to use the 3D to make it all the more exciting for kids. What we've tried to do with Pan is to create an incredibly immersive world. With 3D, one can enhance that immersive experience. I think 3D is successful when it's designed to take you into this fictitious world. Neverland, there's never been a better canvas for 3D than that. There's so many spectacles where the ship goes up into space and, and sort of soars through the skies, and there's a lot of wonderful things you get to see that you've never seen before. There were so many stunts. There was lots of falling. Because you got to fall before you can fly. It's kind of hard to keep everything together while you're jumping. To play Peter Pan, he really had to throw himself about. Rooney had a lot of action in the movie. I quite like the idea of a girl doing most of the fighting, and, and she gave Hugh Jackman a run for his money, which is quite impressive. We've been having a long, long fight sequence. You can get to know people in many ways, but when you fight someone for three weeks, you really get to know them well. She's a tough girl. I thought that that fight on the spikes was impossible. Mind if I cut in? You've got to pinch yourself and be like, this is really sort of incredible, this whole journey that we're a part of. Hurry! You have to get us off this island! Joe really hooked into the inner child within him, and I think the movie's going to do the same. Whatever age you are, it really connects to the kid within you. That boy makes it to the natives. All will be lost! Neverland is a place like a dream. It's as broad as the imagination that carries it. What if I fail to fulfill the prophecy? And what if you fail to try? Ultimately, it's a movie that will move you and bring a smile to your face.